Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks for listening today. I wanted to come to you with a quick message today. I'm talking about rejoicing with those that rejoice and mourning with those who mourn. Man, I'll never forget years ago, I did a funeral and a wedding on the same weekend. Someone in our church died and someone in our church got married. And that was an emotional roller coaster. I came to discover that that emotional roller coaster wasn't just going to be unique to that one weekend, but it happens all the time. This very week, man, I got to celebrate a wedding. This, and in the same week, go through the whole roller coaster of emotions. Someone uh, died in our church. So, some of our family member, someone in our church died. There was a death. Rachel and I celebrated our anniversary 15 years. We got to celebrate 15 years of marriage. So there was a new wedding. There's a death. There is a uh, anniversary uh, celebrating 15 years with my bride. Then there's also sickness. There's also surgery. There's also surgery complications. There's also uh, a marriage struggling. There's also kids that are graduating from school, celebrating their graduation from high school this week. There's also um, a funeral tomorrow. And then on Sunday, worse, Father's Day. Man, how many emotions can one mind go through in one uh, week? How many times can you change you know, and say, man, I'm celebrating with this person and I'm mourning and weeping with this person and I'm caring and having compassion here. Um, and it's just, wow, it's incredible. You know, the Bible says in uh, Ecclesiastes 3, there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. And he's made all things beautiful in his time. But sometimes we have to be more buoyant and responsive than we realize. You know, years ago, I remember when my father passed away my dad passed away um, just a little bit after Father's Day, four years ago. And um, man, that same weekend we had birth. That same week we had birthday parties, right? And it's like we didn't cancel the birthday parties. Why? Because the birthdays matter. The people that were having those birthdays needed to be celebrated. And yeah, at the same time, you can't skip the morning, right? Sometimes you're like. On this side, I'm rejoicing, and on this side, I'm mourning, and I can't skip either because the person that mourning needs somebody to mourn with them, and the person that's rejoicing needs somebody to rejoice with them. We can't cancel the graduation party because of the wedding, and we can't like discard the wedding because of the funeral, and, and it's like all these things are happening at once, and it's like, wow, how am I supposed to do all this and take this in the bible says he'll make all things beautiful in his time and so the timing sometimes is a little bit much for us we want seasons to be three months long and sometimes seasons are three minutes long before we have to now go and deal with the other thing but the promise of god is that he is going to be with us through the through it all okay he's never going to leave us or forsake us and so if you're having a week like that where just the rejoicing in the, in the morning and it's the roller coaster of up and down. I want you to know that God's going to get you through it. God's going to get you through it. And it's important to be with the other people in their thing if you can be and celebrate their moments. But you have to take your time. Even Jesus had to get away when it was time to mourn the death of John the Baptist. And we have to take the time to get away and mourn, but we also have to take the time to rejoice. Life is a moving target. Life is filled with emotions and situations. And we do want to say like, listen, I want to be where I need to be and be the me that needs to be there. And so I want to rejoice with those that are rejoicing and mourn with those that are mourning. I got to let my life be flexible enough that I'm not putting my life on a calendar, but I'm being led by the Holy Spirit in all of those situations. So if you're having trouble, trouble with that today, I want you to know that Jesus will never leave you or forsake you. He's going to walk with you through that situation. He wants to guide you. He wants to encourage you. Um, he wants to just be your leader. And so uh, make sure you step out and let him step out of the way and let him be your leader and make sure that you're following him because he's going to get you through this. And it's going to be amazing. This Sunday, Worst Father's Day, after church, we're going to have Bratwurst. It's going to be awesome. I hope that you can join us. And God bless you guys. See you soon.